Good afternoon. This is Gino's show. I tell you a little story. I am a Rotarian for many, many years. I think about 34 years. And a friend of mine asked me, that he says, Gino, can you have me in your show? I will explain what Rotary does. Actually, service about self. That's what Rotary is all about. You know what I mean? And I got in. Just imagine. They were doing everything to help other people. I can't believe it. And I fall in love with it. Even though I was working 14 hours a day, I joined. Now, I will introduce you to this gentleman. He's a friend for many years. His name is Steve D'Agostino. That's an Italian name. Good Irish name. <laughs> now, Mr. <laughs> G G Steve D'Agostino, would you be kind enough to, in to introduce you and the way I say it, and let's see if I said it the right thing. Okay, well, I'm the president of the Rotary Club of Acton Box. I know that, yes, sir. And uh, we're in a district called District 7910 that has 50 Rotary Clubs yes. and about 1,200 members grand total. And, you know, the m slogan or the motto, the primary motto, motto for Rotary is service above self. But then you have to ask the question, service above self toward what? Right. And Rotary has seven areas of focus. The newest one is environmental, protecting the environment, preserving right, right. and protecting the environment. But uh, ultimately, all of the, the first six are like building blocks to the top one, which is world peace. Yes. And so that's really what uh, Rotary is about. Rotary was one of the uh, founding members of the United Nations, and right. it and the International Red Cross have non-voting seats still right. in the UN. And I did go to UN in in New York. There's so much oh, for I one know. Of the Rotary days. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's impressive. I haven't been to one of those yet, but I'd love to go. Well, if it is, we'll go together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, that's in a sense what Rotary is. There are worldwide, under the umbrella of Rotary International. Yes. Uh, there are um, thirty-four thousand clubs and there are about 1.4 million members. And again, this is globally. It used to be one point half a million. Probably, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it was down to 1.2 million then. Rotary made Rotaractors who yes. are made, younger people who tend to be either in college, right. so they have a club on mm -hmm. the campus right. called Rotaract, um, or it's in the community itself, mm -hmm. and anybody who was eligible for it could join. Within the last year or so, Rotary made Rotaractors, mm -hmm. Rotarians, or, or able to be counted in right. the total right. for Rotarians. Uh, they have uh, fewer things that they have the ability to do. Uh, as a result, their dues are much less. Right. But hopefully, as they... Um, you know, get into their careers and uh, have more money, disposable income. Right. Uh, they can afford to be Rotarians if they choose to. And they learn also, they give too, you know what I mean? Not only their time, right. but they help out too. Yeah, that's where the service above yeah. self comes right. in. To donate. So we have selfish service and then we have self enlightened self-interest service. I like that, <laughs> selfish. Oh, I hope nobody called me selfish. <laughs> <laughs> So that, in a nutshell, is Rotary, and then the Acton Boxborough Club serves those two towns, Acton, where we are now, and Boxborough, and um, we have about uh, 20 members, um, and we do again service projects throughout the year. Mm. Um, we have one coming up on May 20th. Beautiful. It's to do um, uh, uh, goods sir, uh, uh, collection for the Acton Food Pantry. Yes. And uh, it's called Rotary Day of Service, and there are numerous Rotary clubs throughout the Northeast and in Bermuda yes. that have joined together for this day yes. in uh, several different districts. And the idea is to do service, of course, mm -hmm. but also to raise awareness about Rotary. I think if you ask the average person, what is a rotary, they'd say, isn't it one of those roundabouts? No, no, no. <laughs> you know? They took or, it from there. Or like down the, the street from or there Concord, because they you get the Concord Rotary. Because they, 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 
in 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 the beginning only four people were uh, Rotarian, right? And they were going to different office. One time they go for one office, and the next week they go to another office. They, because you know what I mean? They had four four offices, so they were running around. That's what they call a Rotary. And the first uh, mm. founders right. also rotated uh, being president or. Uh, uh, Presidents yes. of a Rotary International, right, right. Uh, so that was a part of the rotation too. Yeah, for the individual, they you know they, they were given their time right. to get together, they do something that it now it's all over the world. I mean, even in Russia they have Rotarian. Well, in yeah, India they have Rotarian. I believe our district is going to be doing a uh, service trip to Poland yes. to help. Uh, uh, refugees yes. from the Ukraine, Ukraine yeah. uh, the uh, attack by Russia on yes, Ukraine. I know, yeah. So that'll be an international effort. Our district, District 7910, yeah, yeah. will be sending Rotarians and other districts throughout the world, yeah. hopefully. We, we, food, we'll be sending yeah, but them don't we're well. going to concentrate on food, too. Well, right? food, you know, medical care. Medical care, um, yes. There, what, again, whatever the seven areas of focus right. are, there's education, health care, right. maternal care, um, water, you know, providing people with clean water. Right, right. Um, so you put all of those together, and once people are doing those first six things, they're too busy to fight with each other. So maybe world peace starts yeah, breaking correct. out. Yeah, correct. We're not going to probably see that in our lifetimes, and maybe, maybe the next someday. two or three lifetimes. I know, I but hope But that's, so. that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate. To, to just taking care of themselves, also trying to be good neighbors. I, you know, right. love, you, love your, your neighbor as you love yourself. You know what I mean? You don't have to just hug them. Just, just take care of them like you take care of yourself. That's right. You know, help each other. At least tolerate each other. Not, yeah, not fight I mean, with they each can. Other. Yeah, they can argue and everything. That's okay. Right. They, as long as they don't kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, so that'll be th now from May first through the twentieth. Many of the clubs are just doing this event on May twentieth. Our club is going to be doing it. We started May first. We're doing it through May twentieth. And basically, we're people of action, members of the Rotary Club of Acton, Boxborough, and we're rolling up our service above self sleeves for a donation drive to benefit the Acton Food Pantry. Now, our generous local partners are Avalon um, Acton, mm. uh, Duncan, Duncan Donuts, yep. Enterprise Bank, and KJ's Cafe. And they're also collecting donations in this uh, community building. That's beautiful. Because they need some help. They do. Well, we have, you know, it's, it's amazing that in this country we produce so much food. Think about it at the supermarkets. How much food do they throw oh, away each I day? Per talk about perishable items. I know, yeah. And uh, we have uh, hunger. Not just uh, I'm, I know. you know, feeling uh, uh, you know, like I, I want something to eat. This is desperate hunger it's, going on throughout like the country. Like you say, some family don't have extra people. Some family don't have extra money to buy enough food. That's right. To to supply the family right. because they have a limited income. So yeah. you'll see. In addition to this, there is a national movement going on, probably internationally too, towards community gardens. Yeah. And uh, Rotary is helping in some communities with that. Sturbridge is an example, where they have community gardens going. And the idea is to help show people how to grow their food, right. but you also have to show them how to prepare it, right. too. Yes. Because if you grow some spinach, for example, and you boil the heck out of it, it's got no taste. You no lose taste. all the nutrients. So in addition to showing people how to grow it mm -hmm. uh, you'll, and harvest it, you also have to show them how to prepare it mm -hmm. so they get the, t the, uh, the flavor and the nutrition. Mm -hmm. And they have a little help. They don't have to buy it. Because no, that's correct. Grow. And they can share it with neighbors if right, they grow right. a lot extra. Yeah. Yep. I wonder if uh, I'm sure there are many, many people understand what you're saying. And uh, I hope that uh, we will be able to uh, accommodate the majority of the, the population. Well, I think that, you know, as Rotary grows, we also have Interact. And that's... Uh, sort of rotary at the uh, high school level. Yeah. And uh, our club, the Acton Boxborough Rotary Club, has uh, an interact club at Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And again, these students can choose if they want to, to eventually become rotaractors or right. rotarians as they grow older. And also their parents or guardians uh, then become aware, if they hadn't already been, 
of what Rotary is about. And they may want to become a member of Rotary or a friend of Rotary, mm -hmm. or if we're doing a one-off event, they could just say, I want to help out for that particular right. month or week or day. And also, you mentioned that you uh, actually we need people that have volunteered. I mean, they don't really have to uh, working, they belong to a Rotary. Sometimes many people retire mm -hmm. and they're young, and they to keep them busy and in in con contact with the uh, other individual. It's a it's a it's a plus. That's right. You know what I mean? And they learn something and and they they live longer f because they don't have to worry about that. Now exactly I'm retired. It. What am I going to do? It keeps you busy. Keep you busy. <laughs> I think that I'm retired, but I'm probably probably putting in as much, if not more, hours, at least as president of a club, I know. than I was when I was uh, uh, fully employed. And you know that I go to five or to six. You do. Six You're more than meeting a full-time Rotarian. I, I went to Arizona, you know what I mean? And uh, my, my wife and my son was, was happy that I was there. I went to, to Rotary, and they hold the dog. They say, he is Gino. He's a troublemaker. <laughs> He's always asking <laughs> fun so he can help other people, even though we, we do it. But he comes here. He wants to... <laughs> They want to be helped too. <laughs> we, sh we should form a Rotary Club of Geno in this district. <laughs> you know, they they look, they say, "Okay, let them in now." <laughs> I can't believe it. And they and you you attend many of our meetings and social gatherings. Oh yeah. Oh, that yeah. was the other thing. Besides doing service above self in the community, service projects like this one to benefit the active food pantry. Right. We also have socializing events right. once a month. Right. And that's for us to just get together and hopefully not talk about Rotary. Right. Because we enjoy do that throughout the rest yeah, of the month. Yeah, to enjoy the and company. And get to know each other. Yeah. And maybe yeah. bring in guests who aren't Rotarians. They don't yeah. have to become Rotarians. Yeah. But just to socialize, hang out, yeah. uh, you know, and tell stories and uh, share right. um, about ourselves yeah. Uh, yeah. as well. Um, and um, and then we also do fundraisers. So yes. we've just started w this Thursday, um, May, uh, what is today? <laughs> today is Wednesday. Wednesday. So tomorrow we'll have our first meeting uh, for our annual golf tournament. And uh, that will be, I believe, in either August or September. We've got to pick the right, date for right. that. But that's a fundraiser. Right. And we do a couple of those a year as well. Right. So there are two parts to our club. There's the club part. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the 501C4. Right. Uh, so it's a nonprofit, uh, but it can't, you, if you make donations to it, you can't get a tax write-off. No, I know. Then there's the charitable uh, side of it the charitable endowment, and uh, that's the one that you can make donations to and uh, get tax write-offs as a result. Right. So when we do uh, an event like the golf tournament, the proceeds of that, the net proceeds of that, all go to the endow endowment, the charitable endowment. Um, and okay. then uh, uh, any money that we raise uh, in other ways, donations, donation. can go either to the charitable endowment uh, or if they don't want a tax write-off, right, it right. can go to the club itself. It's amazing. I mean, uh, a club like Rotary, I can't believe. There's a lot of different clubs that they do the same thing in, indirectly. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, we are very, very lucky. Well, the thing about the seven areas of focus for Rotary International overall, you don't have to, as a club, address all seven of those. Mm -hmm. You can look at your own community right. and decide that, well, you know, th th uh, maternal services maternity and child health services are being taken care of pretty well right. in our particular community. So we're going to focus on food insecurity because there are a lot of people in the community who may get some food, but it may not necessarily be healthy or nutritious. Right. And uh, that leads to other health problems uh, mm -hmm. as a result. So that's one of the areas that we've chosen. So we do one for the veterans. Uh, yeah. We've done serve meals to the senior citizens. Yeah either in Acton or in Boxborough uh, on an alternating basis uh, each year. A lot of people go there, too. A lot of people go, yes. Over, over 100, I noticed right, because yeah. I'm, <laughs> I serve them. So that's uh, Rotary in a nutshell. Um, we also are trying more to collaborate with other clubs. That's, uh, that's so, good. for example, 
uh, this uh, past spring, we did a benefit with the Concord Club to gather donations of non-perishable goods mm -hmm. for Open Table, which is based in Maynard, and they provide uh, food and nutrition services and goods, mm -hmm. again, to people uh, in need. In need, yeah. So we worked together with their club, uh, the Concord Club, to co-promote the event, and uh, as a result, instead of just having one club with maybe oh, a half a dozen members actively doing this. We had two clubs with maybe right. two dozen or 30 or more members uh, taking part. And it also helped, again, to spread the word about what Rotary is, and in particular what our two clubs uh, are about, and that we even exist, Act in Box Pro and then Concord. Right. And also helps promote uh, the uh, charity that we're doing, uh, the fundraiser yeah. for, which in this, cable, table, in this case is Open right. Table. Right. Open Table, you're right. And so far, we're doing so well. I mean, thank God for that. Thank now, God you're in the Littleton Club. Yeah. And oftentimes, we'll work together with your club on different yes, projects. Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah. So, and then the other thing that uh, I, I should mention is at the Rotary International level. So, Rotary International itself is a nonprofit. It's a 501c4, right. meaning you can donate to it, but you're not going to get a tax write-off. Right. But then there's the, the, the Rotary Foundation. Mm. And that has about two billion dollars in assets. Where they be? Two billion with a B, as in boy. Um, typically, when you have a foundation like that, you don't want to spend any more than say four percent of it a year, right, right. so that it replenishes itself. Right, right. And so they have several million dollars, uh, uh, probably about I think if my math is right, about four hundred million dollars. No, that's not correct. Uh, it's, uh, I'll have to do the math, but it's about 4% of that they can spend on uh, projects worldwide. So two clubs can get together like uh, our club in Concord and do yep. a joint project, or five or six clubs can get together, together and do a project. And the idea is that if we're in the United States, we can't do a project in the United States. We have to do it in another country. Oh. So that helps to build international goodwill I and cooperation it. and collaboration. Uh, so we've done projects... Um, in India, yeah, I've been with other clubs that have done projects in uh, Colombia mm -hmm. and in uh, Guatemala, and um, so um, that's another key ingredient of, of a Rotary is working together to get large amounts of money. I yeah. think the the smallest international grant is about thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, and that doesn't necessarily mean that your club has to raise thirty thousand. But you raise a certain amount, then your district matches that matches, to a certain yeah. degree. And then the Rotary Foundation matches both of those amounts mm -hmm. to a certain degree. And at least with the minimum amount, it brings it up to 30000 I believe the maximum amount is somewhere between two and $400,000. Wow. Now. Um, so that could take, that would be a big project, relatively speaking. And you'd probably, unless you're a really wealthy club or a wealthy district, want to get several different clubs and districts working together to help, help uh, for that other. project. There's so many people that really need so much help. I know we can Well, you've got to start somewhere. We, you know, we know. work with, uh, I'll give you an example. We once did a project when I was with um, the Neshoba Valley Club uh, and uh, with the Worcester Club with uh, Engineers Without Borders at uh, Worcester Polytechnic Institute, WPI. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so several of the students there were engineers, and they belonged to the WPI chapter of Engineers Without Borders. So we were looking to do a project in uh, Guatemala, and um, they decided to form a Rotaract club at WPI because they knew that by becoming a member, a part of Rotary, they would have access to the Rotary Foundation funding. Oh, oh, I see. So then they came to the clubs and said, would you like to partner with the club down in uh, Guatemala to work together to come up with the funding? And then we've got the engineering expertise. Wow. We can explain technically, engineering-wise, what needs to be done, how you measure it, what the um, equipment and supplies are that you need. Um, how you operate it. And so because of their expertise and our ability to generate the, uh, the funding, uh, we were able to get the application approved by the Rotary Foundation, and mm. I think it was like six months. It was, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> it was a very wow. short period of time. And then start work on it just a couple of months later.
Well, that's really neat. Huh? Uh, so uh, that's the idea is work together in partnership with other organizations, either in Rotary, it could be outside, it could be the Lions Club, or it could be the, um, the Knights of Columbus, Knights of Columbus, or it could be whoever. Um, it could be some other um, charitable nonprofit organization in the community itself, like the United Way, that you could work mm, with. That, that's, that's neat. That's really nice. Yeah, people, I, if you understand what we're talking about and you have retired maybe a couple months ago, just you have so many clubs that you go to in this area. If you want to join Arcton, just say, Gino, send me here. You want to go to, uh, in, in what do you call, uh, in Westford? You say, Gino, send me here. You want to <laughs> you want to go to Bolton? I says, oh, I'd like to participate in Rotary. And, and they might say, who sent you here? He says, a gentleman by name, Gino. So no matter where you go, just mention my name. And they, they, they let you in, and that's it. Then you'll be, you'll be like me, practically, maybe even better. You know what I mean? You, you, you're going to be able to love it and then to help them and uh, and then if you have a little bit of a heart extra heart there you know you donate a little bit here and there and, and just to drive, drive home one point you don't have to be retired to be that a is true. talent many people are because they've got the time and energy now right. uh, to do these service projects they can work but, but you don't necessarily have to be retired no no they, and, uh, sometimes they work they can't get out of the, that's right. the job but if you are able to work and wherever you work, they say, okay, you take an hour away and then you can, you can participate in, uh, if the area is close to a rotary, you can go there, stay an hour. Then you, then you can leave right away because you have to go back to work. Yeah, so you could do a service project on yeah, a weekend, yeah, a Saturday right, or a right, Sunday. Yeah, that is uh, true. Or on a holiday if uh, yeah, you know, a particular yeah. club is doing a fundraising events or a service project on a holiday, like uh, Labor Day. Or right, right, right. Usually we try to avoid <laughs> holidays for fundraisers. Um, but that is a way you can But that's a way to get involved. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can also donate money. You know, right, if you're yeah. working, f never mind 40 hours a week, 60 hours a week, yeah, you yeah. want to support that club, well, you can uh, provide funding during the fundraisers. Right, yeah. And uh, that helps as well. So much you can do. Yeah, you, you are correct. But, it's, you know, a lot of people say, uh, Gino, I'm working. I, I, I only have an hour. He said, well, That's enough. You know, you <laughs> go to a meeting, then you say, oh, I'm sorry, I have to leave. And they understand. There's yeah. no problem. You don't have to stay in two hours. Now, to clarify, we don't want you just to, to attend club meetings. That's nice. No, no, you have to but volunteer. But we do want people to do yeah. some sort of yeah. service project yes. at least once yes. a month um, for yeah. at least one day a month. Right, right. Um, and that, that, they, that's they really what we exist they for. They understand that when they participate. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. But uh, in the meantime, some people say, geez, I work, you know, I, I can't even eat with anybody about my, myself. Well, just find out where the rotary is in your location, and now you go, stay there, and then you go back to work, and then you, f you find out. What else can you do? Well, here's an example. We have the North Central Mass Habitat for Humanity. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's say that the organization, the company you work for, wants to do one of those projects. Right. And you're a Rotarian also. Mm -hmm. So you get, uh, I guess, credits or whatever you get <laughs> from right, the corporation right. you work for. But you also get service hours because you're a Rotarian. Correct. It may not necessarily be a project that's being sponsored by your club. Right. But you, as a Rotarian, are going out and doing a as service project. Yeah. in the, the local community, so yeah. that counts towards service hours for you for that rotary year. So that's you are a correct. lot of stuff to do, a lot, way, lot of things that need to be that's done. That's why <laughs> when I go to Arizona, they close the door, because they say, Gino, he's the troublemaker. That's <laughs> what we say, too. But you, you always get in before we lock the door. <laughs> so if you want more information on our club, the Rotary Club of Acton Box Pro, uh, go to um, Acton Box Pro Rotary, uh, dot org. So act in the box pro and it's O U G H. I know some people spell box pro without the U G H, but we're act in box borough with the O U G H. Um, Say it one more time, but very Acton slowly. Box pro rotary dot org O R G. And if you don't remember that, just look up Acton and box pro and rotary in Google and it'll take you right to uh, a link to our site. Beautiful. 
any any other story you have to t tell me here so so uh, people will say boy they got so much to say <laughs> well you know we've got i think one thing i can share with you is that what, what we're discovering is that the one of the target markets i think for rotary uh is and can be for clubs that don't realize it yet uh the 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 demographic of people between the ages of say uh, 45 and 55. Um, those are oftentimes, if they've had children, mm -hmm. what are called empty nesters, meaning the kids have gone through college, they've uh, now yep, yep. graduated, they're in their own careers, maybe they're raising their own and families. And home all by themselves. And the parents are, if they're not working full time, mm. um, they're home by themselves or on the weekends, you know, yeah, they're looking yeah. for something to do. Yeah. And particularly women, when you look at the studies, yeah. women between the ages of 45 and 54 and they have a big are heart. particularly <laughs> interested. Uh, the guys tend to like to go out and play golf. I mean, I'm oversimplifying here. <laughs> but women like to get involved, and again, this is an oversimplification, in doing community projects. But whether you're male or female, um, you know, and you have that passion for service above self and serving the community, and you're an empty nester, but you're not yet retired, yeah. you're definitely welcome. Yeah. As is anybody um, who is That's how uh, I started. Uh, I started over the I, age of, I, I believe, 18. I was working when, I'm telling you, I was working. and I, Same I, thing here. And I was volunteering when, they, you know what I mean? Right. I was cutting time to do just the volunteer work. And, and everybody, they never complained because uh, the job was done, yep. even though I was in there. And... Uh, Everything was taking care of it. You know. We did once one project in uh, Puerto Rico after the hurricane back several yeah. years ago, and uh, we were um, there was a church there that had an old, uh, I think it was a TJX store that had been uh, taken over by the church. So it had a food bank and it had uh, a, dis uh, a warehouse for you know uh, non-perishable goods, yeah, and yeah. it had the uh, church itself within the facility. So a bunch of us went down with a local church group. And uh, literally, we were had sleeping bags, and we were sleeping on the floors wow. for about uh, three or four nights, and then going out and doing service projects How within like the community, that? cleaning up debris How and like uh, helping people who had been, uh, you know, locked in because the electricity was out, the water was out, uh, roofs had collapsed, so they needed temporary shelter, they needed fallen trees to be removed from their. So property. you did a lot of good. So doing a lot of that stuff. Yes. You, you you really did really did a lot, yeah. The angel will say, okay, Steve D'Agostino, the keyhole is open. That's you right. can come in. So I guess, uh, I guess you, are, you have said enough about Rotary. I don't say enough because I'm telling you, some people can talk all day about Rotary. They are so proud of it. So we only make it, a, we just adjust a little bit. So you have an idea what Rotary is all about, and if you want to find out, you can always come as a guest. And then if somebody asks you, how do you, who sent you here? You say, Gino sent me and Steve. And then, and I bet you, you'll be like me. The next week you'll go again. So right. ours are at uh, 12 noon at the Boxborough Regency on the first and third Wednesdays of the month. And then our social gathering is on the final Wednesday of at 5.45 p.m. At the month. And again, that's at the Boxborough Regency. So I hope you enjoyed Gino's show. And if there's anybody who likes to come and tell me a story, and this is, I thank you so much for watching Gino's show and also my guest, my f good friend, Steve. You're welcome, Gino, and thank you for having me as How a guest. How do you say your last name? D'Agostino. Uh, I want to make sure if you remember how to say it in the Italian way. <laughs> and then I thought D'Agostino was a unique name until my no. late wife and I went to Italy several years ago, and it turns out that it's like the Smith and Jones That's of Italy. it. That's so. it. Fratelloni the same way. There's a lot, yeah. of, them, a lot right. of them all over the place. All over the place. Well, thank you again for having my me. My pleasure. On. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, see, yeah. we still shake hands even though we're friends. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching Gino's show, and God bless you. And you hope you have a good day.